man? Everything's good, man. Just got off of work. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> I've How heard you I've heard you've done a lot of good things behind the scenes with people. Really? So, yeah, a lot of good things you've done. Behind, I'm not going to blow it up like that, but i got to give you your, your flowers. I've heard you've done a lot of good things with people behind the scenes in terms of um, living <laughs> arrangements <laughs> and finding places to roof over your head, right? So, I, okay. Yes, <laughs> yes. So Every, everybody in Battle Rap should know I, I, I sell houses. That's I guess now that's like a part-time job, though, because the market is just – in shambles right yeah yeah i did i, I sold uh easy his house i helped somebody else find uh, a place i'm not gonna put their business out there but i helped somebody else find a place but yeah yeah man so uh i helped jay black find his house right right so, yeah, yeah anybody if y'all in pennsylvania pennsylvania yeah. only yeah and, uh, if you looking for a house <laughs> i got you man right. i got you that's what i do what was up you know three i'm doing good my brother um how you and Troy feeling, man? Well, I, I can only speak for how I feel. I mean, you know, when I talk to him, he's he doing right. good. He's doing good. Um, for me personally, you know, it's just it's a, it's a dope experience, man. Murder Mook is Murder Mook. Um, you know, I said this very early on. I'm not one of them people that, that switch up just because, you know, shit's going good or shit's going bad. Turk, my right. man, thick and thin, when, when he was fucking up at the Sioux Surf battle, I was there. He fucked up a real name, Brandon. I was there. When Drake wanted to dap him up after the Tay Rock battle, I was there. So it's highs and lows. And, um, you know, Murder Mook is one of the reasons that I started watching battle rap. I've told him that to his face. Right. I'm not switching up because he battling Turk. Like, you know, it, it's super dope, man. It's Murder Mook in New York. Like, that's, that's you know what I mean? Like, you got to think about it again. You, you, you've been around. Yes, sir. Battling Murder Mook in New York or Loaded Lux in New York. It's like battling Hitman or Verb in St. Yes, Louis. Absolutely, 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 absolutely. Yeah, you get absolutely. you get bonus points just for standing on that stage. You know what I'm saying? Um, when when Verb and Mook battled at Drum, I was there front row. Mm -hmm. Like you get bonus points. I, I think Verb won the battle, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> right, right, but you right. get bonus points just for being there, man. In my opinion, gotcha. and, and you know that was that was a smaller setting. I mean. Drum, it's say it only hold like 250. ARP got four or 500 in there. I was there. It was packed. It was shoulder to shoulder. But now this is Urban Plaza. So we know it's going to be a thousand people in there. I'm just excited, man. Sunday can't get here fast enough. Can you describe Twerks 2023 for us? Yes. Um, I think I think it's just it's just hard work. That's all. It's just hard work. You know, um, I compare Twerk to myself. In, okay. in like in high school, when when I was in elementary school, I was the smartest kid in the class. I didn't really have to study for tests. I could wake up the morning of, glance at the material, right. go in there and still have a 95 or better. Mm. It was just like that. Um, I went to Central High School, which, you know, is, is a school for gifted students. Shout out to Enos. Yeah. Um, he always reminds me of that. <laughs> uh me and him both went to Central, but it's like okay. you know, it's a school for gifted students. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm now everybody in my class is the smartest person in the class, and you know, it got to a point freshman year, I was still chilling. I definitely was. I was still doing the same shit. Sophomore and junior year it was like, oh wait a minute, this shit getting different. I'm getting C's and D's. I think the first F I got was in my junior year. And I I didn't even know what to do. Um, but it's just you know the the the. I had the intelligence. I just wasn't mm -hmm. applying myself. And when you look at Twerk, you know, I, I, I'd say this all the time. When you look at Twerk's record, right? Shout out to Jazz. She pulled out all them names. You look at his record. How many of them do you think is actually better than Twerk? He might have lost a battle, but do you yeah. think they're better than Twerk? My personal say, opinion? I can't say a lot. I can't. I can't. I'll say, I'll say this. And well, I will say this, brother. I don't think it's at a large percentage of the people that try a lawsuit that are actually better than him. Exactly. Not a hot exactly. Right. Now, he go up there and he's ill-prepared and things like that makes it an easy day. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? It's it's Mike Tyson and Buster Douglas. You're supposed to go in there and, and get this win. This is this is a layup win. Mm -hmm. You you don't prepare. Shout out to KCJ, the $100,000 tournament. You don't prepare. Buster Douglas got a shot. Now look at you. We all remember how it went. 
So, you know, it is what it is. But at the end of the day, man, like he he just been focused. He's been actually applying himself. Mm. And when he's applying himself, I've tweeted it. I've tweeted it a couple of times. This is what people wanted. They wanted Twerk taking his career serious. They wanted, you know, him to to fulfill that potential. Right. And the way I see it, all 2023, shout out to the media. You know, Twerk ain't really doing no media things. Why is but, that? Why is that? I mean, cut your wisdom out. Why is that? Though? You want me asking why? It, it, it's, it's a short answer. It's because the media don't really care about Twerk. That's okay. the bottom line. They really don't. When when it's and and I'm not saying you specifically, it's just oh, media I, I, in I, general. I don't, I don't take a person. I'm thinking, I don't take a person. Yeah. I don't take a person. It's, it's about the hot topic. You know what I'm saying? Torque go up there. He does bad. Everybody gets to do three or four blogs and, oh, don't book him and, oh, this and that. It's like, yo, but I'll tell you who does care, the fans. Those Mm -hmm. are the people that are actually spending their hard-earned money, spending their time traveling, catching flights, booking hotels, standing in line. They're the ones. And, you know, he didn't say this, but I'm saying it. Torque's 2023 this year is dedicated to the fans. That's what it is. It's about rebuilding the confidence. So many times, twerk name versus whoever, if twerk show up, if twerk. In my opinion, for this battle specifically, all year he's been giving y'all solid work. I don't think it should be if twerk come with three rounds versus murder mook is going to be. At this point, make your opinion and stand on it. Either say you got mook or say you got twerk. But they're going to both go up there. They're both going to be prepared. Murder Mook don't never, he's never not prepared. So, absolutely, absolutely. Right. But absolutely. Twerk has been showing that, you know, now he's showing up with all three rounds. Asking the crowd, y'all want me to keep going? Shout out to Coffee mm-hmm. Brown. Y'all want me to keep going? Shout out to Next. Y'all want me to keep going? Shout out to Hollow. Y'all want more? Like, mm-hmm. like it just is what it is. So, um, I can't wait for Sunday, man. I just really can't. I, I'm curious to see i like watching murder mook perform everybody knows i'm twerk's biggest fan so I, I this is this is just this is a dream come true man i'm gonna give you one pushback on the media thing before i move move, move here i oh, agree with you, i agree with you i disagree with you on, on, on the other side on, on the other thing i don't think a lot of us i can't speak for other people so i'm not gonna do that right i don't know other people's mm-hmm. intentions so i'm not gonna do that but i don't right. think when some of us cover twerk right i don't think it's with malice intent or trying to kill the brother I think well, so. Oh, yeah, and well, do, do as, you listen? You're a media. You listen, you're a media before you're a manager, sir. You're a big time media, sir. Okay, you're a big time media, sir. Okay, you still are to the extent, even though you're a manager. That's a fact. You know That's how fact. we got to turn stories. We got to talk about though. And what? Well, absolutely, you know? absolutely. I just think it's about you know battle rap's favorite word right now is narrative. Oh god, and I think it's about yeah. how you how you frame things. You know what right. I'm saying? Okay. Again, okay. bro, I, I've told this story. Like, people, I don't know what people think. When mm-hmm. Twerk was fucking up in them battles, I don't know if they thought after the battle, me and him was going to the club, popping bottles and high-fiving. No. I'm pretty, sure that wasn't going on. I'm pretty sure that wasn't going right. on. Right. Exactly. We've gotten into arguments, yelling and screaming, and, and this and that. And it's like, but at the end of the day, I, I know his potential, so I could never give up on him. Like, I right. just couldn't. And, you know, I know, you know, he cares about me. He's seen... I think it was really after the real name Brandon battle, the way uh, it's crazy, the way I was getting drunk for him not rapping. It was like, bro, am I right there? What the fuck? I don't rap, man. I mean, I could try. It's just not going to be good, though. Absolutely. Um, I got you. Yeah. So, you know, it, it, but it's like, I think, you know, he, he made me a promise after that that he was really going to take this shit serious. You know, he sat down for a little while. And then he came back and he's been smoking shit ever since. And um, but yeah, as far as the media though, I think it's about how people frame things. Like, again, you fuck up, bro. You deserve to get said you got fu- you mm-hmm. fucked up. And mm-hmm. it's nothing wrong with somebody saying, bro, this is unrealized potential. It's nothing wrong with that either. But when you start talking to the point of, oh, don't book him no more. Oh, I don't want to see him. Oh, my favorite one, he don't deserve. Bro, you should never, everybody in this culture, those that I rock with and those that I don't, it's a bunch of black men and black women in this culture. I would never say this person doesn't deserve. Mm. My thing is, if I don't fuck with you, good luck on that. That's all. And and my favorite phrase is, bro, it's easy as hell to shut the fuck up. It's real easy to do that. Like, again, as media, 
you want to get your story off. But when you get to the point where it's two, three, four blogs saying about how, oh, somebody was in your comment section and they said they don't want to see them no more. Now it's three blogs about why Twerk shouldn't get booked. All right. Well, all, all I'm saying is now that he is getting booked, now that the potential is being realized, just stay over there. That's all. There's no hard you, feelings. But one more, one more question about it. Are bad, are bad representative? I think humans are sensitive. I mm -hmm. think there's this whole thing in battle rap culture where, you know, if you react, now you're sensitive. Hitman is my favorite person to you. I don't subscribe to that. I don't subscribe to that. Yeah. that Hitman, my favorite person. Bro, people talk. Hitman is probably the biggest success story in battle rap ever. Shout out to Surf. Shout out to Mook and Lux. Hitman is probably the biggest success story in this shit. So when somebody attacks his legacy in this and he defends himself, oh, now he's sensitive. What? No, that's his legacy. The, the fact that, oh, you don't see Jay-Z responding because y'all can't reach Jay-Z. That's why. <laughs> but Hitman is active. Hitman pull up to events. Hitman got bags and bodies. Oh. Hitman came to Philly and he was here on business. Hit me up because he see me talking shit about bowling. Hit me up. Like, I don't even know how he got my number. Nigga called me. Hit me, holler what they call me. I'm looking like, because, you know, the phone got the call ID. Who the fuck? Mm -hmm. Gerald Fulton. I know that name. But, like, he really is down to earth. He's still where he is in life. He still is, is you know what I mean? Hit me, holler. The right. battle rapper. So he come down and, and mingle with us common folk. So when somebody say something, him responding, well, that's not sending That's a human reaction. It's the same thing that any one of these niggas that call him sensitive would do in his position. Right? I'm say this. Now, if I'm you ain't got shit going on, you mm -hmm. ain't got shit going on, you ain't got no image or brand to protect, right. meaning your name doesn't generate any money, of course you can let shit slide. Right, right, right. Because you're not, like, your, your name don't, I hate to say it that way, but your name doesn't generate any money, any buzz. So, but yeah, I, th I think battle rappers are sensitive. I think fans are sensitive. Media, media too. Media also. Media <laughs> too. Oh, for sure. Media Absolutely. is just super. Media is super passive aggressive with their sensitivity. Absolutely, um, <laughs> you know, like, yeah. I see it all, but I, I follow my own words. It's easy right. to shut the fuck. I see a bunch of shit on Twitter, and and you know, Twerk be talking me off the ledge sometimes because I be, bro, I'm about to. No, gang, don't even say nothing. All right, 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 right. Yeah, I'm gonna say this though. I, if you don't, if you don't mind me sharing this story, but I'm gonna share this real quick. So Twerk called me one night, right? About a month ago, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And we had a conversation, right? Mm -hmm. He was very passionate. I'm using the word passionate, right? Mm -hmm. He was very, and what, what I took from the conversation is this. Regardless how he felt about something I might have said, I, I respect the fact that speaking to him, that he cares. Like, that's what I got from that conversation, speaking to that young man, that he shit. So when somebody says that he left field him, right? He wants to have that conversation with, with you and everything like that. And we had a good conversation. It was a little back and forth, but he right. says, well, uh, it's how you felt. And I left right. the conversation like, okay, yo, are right, we good? But I had to let him know that we I was talk good about it. So I sent him a clip to show him, bro, there's me right. saying some stuff about you. He's like, all right, gang, we good. We good. We good. Yeah. No, listen, so, I, I do the same thing, man. You know, he, he gets, if, if something happens, uh, like, you know, at Turk, Turk, it, I mean, bro, he is who he say he is. He is mm -hmm. a Pyro blood gang. Like, he, he, he real quick to react. And I've said to him at time, well, wait a minute. Like, yeah, they, yeah, they was wilding on this one, but it's not like they're against you. Right, um, right, right, right. But yeah, no, no, that, that's the thing. It's just, you know, again, working so hard on repairing just, you know, that fan confidence and help. Right. Uh, you know, little things do matter. So, yeah, but the, I, I was, I, I remember the conversation. You called me and he called me. So I got to hear both sides. Um, and yeah, yeah, I'll just say, I, I feel like where you feel like y'all left it is where he feel like y'all left it. So Absolutely. it was like, okay, it was a misunderstanding. It got cleared up. Yeah, it got cleared up. And, we had a good conversation. We were on the phone for a long time, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what he said. He said y'all was on the phone for like an hour, hour and a half. I'm like, yeah, I was on the phone for an hour and a half. Talk about a lot of stuff and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, let me ask you, what made you want to be a manager? Nothing. I never wanted to be a manager. Um, it's wow. funny. Like I, all the shit that I've done in battle rap, 
I didn't aspire to do. Getting on champion, Tech Nine passed away. Right. Jay Black reached out to me sometime after that and was like, yo, listen, you know, um, would you be interested? And at first it was like, man, I can't fill Tech Nine shoes. Like, I, I can't. He was like, no, like, that's not what I'm asking you for. Like, I just want you to be a part of this with me. Okay, cool. Starting a YouTube channel. Him and Uncle Ra, I say it all the time. Him and Uncle Ra are the reason that me and Rita started the YouTube channel. I never wanted to do it, but it was like, hey, yo, y'all should do it. Y'all should do it. it. Took a year. We started a YouTube channel. Um, the managing thing, Twerk actually asked me to manage him twice before mm. I said yes. Wow. Um, both times it was like, bruh, no, I'm cool. I'm I'm good on that. Like <laughs> shit you doing. I'm good on that. I'm I'm good. But yeah. um when he had the car accident, mm. um sh shout out to his third round versus real sick. <laughs> uh DNA was not the only person to go visit him in the hospital, but that's all right. Okay, I get okay, it for the for the round. When I went to see him in the hospital, mm. um I don't know, it's something about like being around him all the time, whatever, whatever. And that condition he was in, you know, six five, three hundred pounds. But we got to wait for the two nurses to come in to put him in the wheelchair to take him to the bathroom. Bro, that shit was heartbreaking. Mm -hmm. Seeing the scars, you know, listening to the doctors talk to him about, you know, the long term effects of the surgeries that they had to do. Like that shit was different. And um, when, when, like right before I left, we was talking. But he was like, bro, like I shouldn't have made it out of this. The doctors said they really said that the reason like the fact that he didn't have his seatbelt on is the reason he survived the crash. They was like, if you were, if you'd have been strapped in, no pun intended, like you would have died. The way the car flipped, there's no way you would have made it out of it. Right. Um, but talking to him about that and him just saying, like, bro, he's like, bro, like this, this, this is this is a gift. This is a blessing. He was like, yo, like, I gotta start taking this shit serious. And um, you know, it was maybe like another week after he so he asked me then in the hospital. I couldn't say no. You you sitting there all fucked up. I can't say no in that moment. But like a week or two later, you know, we had another conversation and just talking about how much money was genuinely just left on the table. And, um, you know, just all of that. And he said he would take it serious. I'm like, all right, well, fuck it. Like, you know, let's figure out how you want to handle the business because I'm not here to, you know, be a manager for, for Twitter. Like, I want to make some money. You get paid a lot of money and I would like a piece of it. Thank you. So... <laughs> Uh, you know, worked out that part of it. And, you know, it's funny, man, to, just to speak to Twerk's character and his blessings, like, bro, the nigga really said, bro, I don't care what you want. I'll tell you, like, I've never told nobody. He literally said, right, bro, I don't care what you want. He was like, as long as I could walk away with X amount or for every battle, I'm good. And I'm like, wow. Okay. Um, but of course, you know, we worked out something that was definitely fair. But mm. originally, like, bro, he really, he genuinely said he didn't care. He just, you know, wanted me in his corner. And and since then, um, a lot of people have asked me to manage them. And I've really thought about it. I was this close. I put up a tweet like a month and a half ago because I was this close. Um, but it's name? not something I... Huh? Did you give us a name? Or? I'll, put it, I'll put it this way. I put up a tweet okay. and it was three It was three images. It was three emojis. Um, so, yeah. One of them was a rooster. So if you go search my tweets and search the rooster, you'll see the other two emojis and you'll be able to figure it out. Um, but I just, you know, where I am just in life and where I am with battle rap, how mm -hmm. I feel about things. Um, I started at the Marriott now. I love it here. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. I just, I don't get to travel as much. And the state of the culture right now, if I'm being honest, like, I don't really want to. Like, it's just so much crazy really? shit going on. Yeah, bro, it's just so much crazy shit going on. Are you, are you a person that be outside and be at a lot of these events and hear you say that now? Is yeah, it it's just... Are we getting older? What are we doing? <laughs> it's going not around? even that. It's like battle rap. It just What battle rap is today is it's so much more about other than who's the best battle rapper. And I get, like, I'm trying to think of an example. Uh, let's use Kid Slade and Tay Rock. All right, okay. that battle. We all know how that battle went. I'm here for, bro, you was out there telling and, and this and that. I'm here for that. Um, And angles stick with you. You know, DNA's mom, rest in peace to her, had an angle on her. Verb's mom had an angle on her. Mm -hmm. Uh, You know, Arsenal's a bus driver. Mm -hmm. JC with the dancing. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. angles live forever. But 
to the point where, you know, you got people, I forgot the guy's name, got nothing to do with Battle Rap. Why, why are there seven blogs? Why are the top media interviewing this person who has nothing to do with the battle? Mm. Like it just, and then, and it's like snowballer. You look at the, the easy situation, you know, uh, the, the, the uh, P situation. Now it's, it's recorded conversations and all that. It's like, this is not the shit that, that, that I grew up on. This You're is right. not the shit. When I said yeah. Mook is one of the reasons, Mook, Joey Jahan, uh, Sheik Raw, like obviously Reed Dollars, like they wasn't doing that. They yeah. wasn't doing this shit. Cassidy, even Cassidy running the radios, like they wasn't doing this shit. This, so. Yeah, so it's like, you know, and I'm a little older. I, I, I'm, I firmly believe in if there is an issue, address it. You know what I mean? I'm going to use Easy to Block Captain as an example. Well, anyone, how about this? Come on, how about pick up the phone and call somebody if you got their number yeah. and have a conversation? Bru That's why I said I'm going to use Easy as an example. Okay. A couple of years ago, they had the Wody panel, right? Yes, sir. And uh, this is when him and Do were still together. And Do put up a tweet about something. Oh, she was criticizing Champion of the Year, just uh, like everybody else. So I responded to her tweet and was like, uh -uh, don't criticize unless you're going to post your own list. He responded to my tweet and was like, bro, she could do whatever she want. I responded to his tweet. That's cool. I, uh, I, I, I think I said something to the effect of, like, we're going to talk about it when I see you. He, what that mean? It means exactly what I said. We're going to see each other. This was right before the first Midnight Madness. Okay. We're going to both be there so we could talk about it there. And I hope he doesn't mind me sharing his story. But when we got there, I saw him. He saw me. We start walking towards each other. We got in the car, sat down, and we talked it out. Because at the end of the day, bro, you got my number. If you felt like I was doing too much responding to your girl, you could have hit my line. You had to put it on Twitter. And he, he acknowledged it. He looked back at the tweets. He was like, yo, you know what? No, you're right. And he was like, but at the same time, I didn't know how to take your tweet. So you could have called me and told me what it was. I'm like, I'd rather show you. Like, look, I'm not coming up to you. Yeah, bitch ass nigga. What's this? What? Like, yo, yo, we need to talk. Like, and we sat down, we chopped it up and he and I made a commitment to one another at that time, bro, if there's ever an issue, hit my line or I'm going to hit your line. It's not going to be on Twitter. It ain't going to be this but back and forth. Like protocol. Huh? Should there be protocol across the board? I, that's <laughs> what I believe. That, that's what I believe. That's what I believe. But again, that that's not what it is now. And I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not. Of enough influence in the culture to make that it. So, you know, shout out to Surf. He's an influence. He's an influencer. Surf go out there. Bro, it's niggas walking around with Midnight Madness tattoos. Tattoos, yes. I remember that. Tattoos. Facts. Yeah. Wrist, yeah. Rita yeah. still got the wristbands. Like, th 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 there's that. Shout out to Verb. He's an influencer. Yes. yes. Like, you have yeah. people of power and influence. Until they get on the same page and, hey, this is the protocol. It just is what it is. Right now, battle rap is is in a in a crazy space, and I just I, I just I'm not feeling it. I've had the conversation with everybody I needed to have it with, but it's like, bro, this shit is wow. I've told people like I don't feel comfortable getting on the phone. I hear my name getting brought up and shit. I hear about other things that's going on, bro. I'm cool. Like if my little phrase now, if I don't 100 know you fuck with me. And I'm not fucking with you. And it's nothing personal. Absolutely. 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 But it's just, absolutely, absolutely, bro. Yeah. Come on, man. But that's the but that's not how battle rap should be. This it is a be nature. That. It right. should be. This that. A, I met you for the first time in person at the first Chrome yeah. event. It, it's supposed to be like that, right? We done had differences of opinion on battle, but it's like, bro, we love the same thing. We here to see this shit go crazy. I was, I was happy to see you, brother. I'm keeping it. Yeah, bro, me too. Shout out Mr. Temperature Check. Met him for the first time there. Dabbed him up like, that's what it's supposed to be. It's not even, even other people I've seen. I ran into Showtime SP. Met him for the first time at Midnight Madness. Dabbed him up like, that's what battle rap is supposed to be. Mm. Now, this shit, this shit, he wanted to be like, I don't know, the real streets outside of the streets. I don't got no street issue with nobody. I ain't got no street. I ain't, I'm, I'm an old man. I ain't got time for that shit. Right. <laughs> I ain't exactly. got time for all that, brother. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, let, me, let me ask you, let's go back to, to move right quick, man. Mm -hmm. 
was the writing on the wall? Because I remember you and Mook having a conversation right after Hollow Bat. And was the writing on the wall right there? Um, I'll say this. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. I'll tell the story. I saw, I was outside um, the venue, you know, security, the A1. Shout out to Mook. Um, when Hollow pulled up, Hollow got out some fancy ass SUV. I don't even know what brand it was. It wasn't American. I'll say that. Okay. Fire. But he got out. He only had like two people with him, maybe three. Everything's everything. The day is going on. You know, call time be dumb early. I'm outside. I just so happen to be outside. I see Luck. Actually, I saw Tiff, Luck's manager. Luck manager. Dab Tiff, Tiff up. Love Tiff. She's amazing. Then I see Lux. Oh, what's up? Right after Lux, here come Moop. In my head, I'm like, Muck, Moop, Lux, and Ho oh, Hollow about <laughs> to get crazy. He got, you know, him and Lux teamed up. Him and Moop. I'm like, no, this about they about to try a line twerk up on some shit. Uh, when when I stop Moop, I'm like, what you doing here? He he just smiled. I'm like, bro, like, I don't want to see you on stage. He was like, no, man, I'm just I'm just here to see what happens, man. That's all. I just want to see if your artist is going to do his thing. Yeah, all right. I said, well, stay tuned. It's going to be a show. It's going to be a movie. Right after the battle, when he says, I shed a tear, I'm like, you shed a tear for what? I thought he was trying to say he thought Hollow won. Yeah. Like, you shed a tear for what? He's like, bro, that shit was scary up there. And that's when Uncle Rod walked up with the camera. Uh -huh. It was in that moment that I'm like, Oh, oh, this might have been okay. And then uh shout out to uh, shout out to the good people at URL. We started having some conversation right then and there, right after that event outside. Beasley pulled me to the side and uh it was just a quick conversation. Like, mm -hmm. yo, there's something we might be interested in doing. And since then, a lot of negotiating, a lot of uh, you know, arguing back and forth on different things, but everybody got what they wanted and Irvin Plaza on Sunday. How did you lose Mr. Last Two Face Offs though, Anwar? What are we doing here, man? So the one, the one, um, uh, who was the Hollow Joint? Oh, the hollow joint. He was sick. Okay. He was sick, okay. and he called him. And the funny thing was, like, he was supposed to fly out, I think Thursday, and he was he was sick on Thursday. So it was like, all right, well, they wasn't filming until Saturday. So mm. they're like, all right, let's see how you feel on Friday. Friday morning, he was still kind of under the weather. Saturday morning, he was like, bro, like maybe I could hop on like an early morning flight. Like I feel a little bit better. And it's like at that point, it's like, bro, it's not worth it. Like you're going to get up, rush to the airport, fly down there just to turn around, fly. Like it's cool. Like it's over with. Um, So that was that. For the MOOC one, some other shit came up. And I mean, it just is what it is. He got stuck in L.A. And that was that. Um, At the end of the day, though, in my opinion, um. How do I say this? Murder Mook is Murder Mook. Like, it, I don't, I don't, I believe in selling the fight, but Twerk ain't really big on getting up there and talking crazy to people. So, um, you know, I, I'm sure they're going to have face offs on Saturday before homecoming. So, mm -hmm. you know, y'all going to get that. We will, we'll be there. Twerk gets to New York tomorrow. Um, I'll be there Friday. And, um, you know, it, that, that face off will happen. But don't be surprised if I jump in that face off because Twerk don't really like to talk crazy. And he hate when I do it. I mean, he, he put it on Twitter. <laughs> Nigga put it on Twitter like, bro, you got to stop doing this. <laughs> the funny thing is, bro, he has texted me that like five times. Like, bro, you got to stop going crazy on these niggas on Twitter. You don't got to stand in front of that shit. And I'm like, man, fuck them. Let, let them be the best they can be. They still going to lose. But the jazz joint, bro, I, I was wilding jazz up. Shout out to jazz. I love it. Jazz, he was. He was. Yeah, bro. Because me and jazz actually have that friendship, though. Bro, I was texting jazz phone. I, bro, I was wilding her up. <laughs> it got to the point. I think it was like, bro. But yeah, shout out to jazz. be honest with me real quick about something. The Shotty Harbor battle. The Shotty Harbor battle not going down, right? Isn't right. that good for Twerk, though? Even though he won't. I, don't, I mean, anymore? I don't think so. It was a month ahead of the Mook battle, basically. Um, most of the material for Shadi was done. I mean, all three rounds was done. It was just, he was crafting something. I'm not going to get into it, but he was crafting something for one of the rounds that, you know, was kind of on some last minute stuff, some some changes he was making. But, um, no, I mean, listen, bro, we went through hell and high water. Like, bro, like, 
it was just so salty, man. His PO in Virginia gave him clearance. I thought we was good, so I never thought about it again. And, um, you know, unfortunately, shout out to the state of Georgia. I don't want no problems. Um, but that PO, when, when he moved to Georgia, he got his house down there. He hadn't seen the new PO yet. Right when he came back from L.A., he had the, the jaw in the mail or whatever. You know, they had to go up here there. And uh, that PO is not, they're not, let's just say they're not, you know, being agreeable. So, you know, it is what it is. We have a plan in place. The battle has been rescheduled. It's going down March 2nd. Okay. March 2nd or March 3rd. Um, but no, I, I don't think it, it, I don't think it really, I don't, I hate to say it this way because I'm not trying to downplay Mook, but both of those battles we had plenty of notice for. So he was two rounds locked and loaded for Shoddy when we signed the Mook contract. He started on Mook right then and there. So it's like, you know what I mean? It, it I don't think so. I, I don't think so. Um, you know, shout out to the people in London. I was looking forward to it. So, you know, I was probably more disappointed. Well, I can't say that because they spent money, but All right. um, shout out to the people at Premier. We worked it out. They did everything they could. They wrote mm -hmm. letters. Um, shout out to URL. I reached out to them, asked them for help. You know, they got a lot of, they know a lot of people. Um, ask them, like, yo, can y'all get me a lawyer to help out with this? And, you know, it just, unfortunately, you know, it, it didn't happen. So, but it's rescheduled, it's going down. And right now, that's the first battle we got for 2024, right now. Okay. Um, any concerns that Mook has been in Rock and Geechee, two heavyweights? Because when you think of, all right, I got Geechee, Rock, and Twerk. Like, those three guys are right mm -hmm. here, right? And mm -hmm. Mook has beaten those two guys. And I got to be honest with you, Anwar. I did pick. I picked Rock to beat Mook. I picked Geechee to beat Mook. I got to be clear. Right. I'm 0 for 2. Right. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Right. And it concerns that this brother has beaten top dudes and big dogs. That's a, fact. So. That's a fact. Bro, Murder Mook. Here's the thing, right? Mm -hmm. Murder Mook is Murder Mook. Like, right. again, did him beat... Murder Mook beating Tay Rock. I predicted Tay Rock to win. I predicted Geechee to win. Me too. <laughs> Murder Mook beating both of them is not out of the realm of possibility. Like he's murder fucking Mook, bro. Right. He, he bro, like again, that that's who he is. Mm -hmm. So it's it's not it's not that. I think I think Murder Mook and Tay Rock is a different battle if it's on a big stage, but it wasn't. So we're not gonna play the if game. I think the way he beat Geechee was it, it was so masterful and mook is mook after after or sorry leading up to the geechee battle i said this on champion murder mook is murder mook he doesn't have to listen to any criticism he has earned that he doesn't have to listen to feedback and i thought that him being of that status he wouldn't so um to see him go in there and have those quick one-liners, have that pandering up there. Bro, Murder Mook performing? Bro, like, that's not what Mook do. That's right. not, But he did it for that battle. I think he knew, he listened enough to the, shout out to his camp, his people. Um, You know, I guess he did listen. Mm -hmm. And and that, that Mook that battled Geechee was a Mook that, in my opinion, we've never seen on a big stage before. Never. That was not the same Mook that battled Reed Dollars. It wasn't the same move to battle iron. Like, that yeah. was a whole different move. And, you know, I, I think that that is a testament to how great he is. That, you know, 20 plus years in, in this shit, he can still adapt. So, you know, um, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see what version of Mook shows up. Because the same Mook that showed up versus Geechee is not the Mook that showed up versus Big K. So, I so and the I Mook that... I did too. I did too. Um, I thought Mook was gonna win in the predictions. I said, bro, it's nothing Big K is gonna be able to do in that room. I didn't think Mook was um, gonna win the game, but I was wrong. Yeah, I thought I thought I had Mook winning that battle clear as far as the prediction, but mm -hmm. after the battle was after the battle. Um I I had Big K taking that battle. And um, you know, uh, again, the last time Mook took a loss, he, you know, he, he bounces back. So, mm -hmm. you know, I, I'm 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 I and prepare for Mook to go up there and put on a show. I am. And I think Twerk knows that too, though. Angry fans said they heard a, a minute and a half of a home. I saw that. 
Caps, I love you, my nigga. Well, you're crazy. You cannot tell me here a minute of material is the sole reason you're picking Mook to be twerk after a minute and a half of material, my guy. Come on, Caps. You are going to shit. Let me ask you. Wilding. Listen, you're wilding. all I'm going to say is this, man. Shout, shout out to Caps. I don't okay. want no smoke. <laughs> um, I vehemently wanted to dispute that tweet. Uh, well, somebody tweeted it, you yeah, know, and, and I yeah. wanted to. I tweeted and deleted a few things. Uh, shout out to Twitter Blue. Um, <laughs> I'm going to just say this. If somebody heard 90 seconds of Tay Rock's material for Mook, forget about that. If somebody heard 90 seconds of Tay Rock's material for Daylight, I'm sure they would have said the same thing. The thing is, the other person does have to rap. And. I know I love how nobody cares about what the crowd thinks until it's their favorite that's not getting crowd reaction, then the crowd is asleep. You do have to perform as well. You have to entertain the crowd. Uh, so it also depends on how engaging the crowd is, you know, how acceptive, accepting and receptive yeah. the crowd is to your material. So, you know, again, December 10th gonna be here before we know it. Sunday, it's Wednesday already. Like Sunday going to be here before we know it. And mentally, you know, I know that Twerk knows that he's battling Murder Mook in New York. Not just in New York now. Now he's battling Murder Mook in Irving Plaza. Like, that, you could you could put a mat there that says the house that Murder Mook built with the URL logo and, and the New York skyline. Like, you could do that at the entrance of Irving Plaza. You're being too nice. You know sir. that? What's going on? You're being no, it's not that, bro. It's, you're being extra nice, my guy. What are we doing here, sir? It's not that, bro. It's just I can't okay. switch it up and, and sit here. You know, a lot of people that Twerk has battled, the only other person he's battled of this, of even in the same stratosphere, is Hollow. Mm -hmm. Um, you dirty. I, so, I you know, Hollow. huh? Met him with a 30 on Hollow. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Hollow, man. Shout, after that battle, Hollow said he done with the big stages. Shout out to Hollow, though, man. That's my guy. I fuck with Hollow. Um, yeah, 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 I did too. Um, but you know, th this is murder mook, so this is another one of them ones. But it's like, you know, with Hollow again, Hollow and I, I'm not gonna say we're friends, but I feel like we have enough of a cordial relationship where you know I can joke with him, I can poke and pry to him on Twitter, and you know, when I see him, he understands that it's just me talking shit for the battle. Um, I feel like Mook and I have that, but I'm not 100% certain, and you know, I, I just I don't want to take no chances with Mook, man. I don't I don't want to piss Mook off. I don't I, I don't want Mook to rap about me. I think he's pissed, pissed off already. You, you listen, yeah. Your client already pissed him off um, 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 eons ago. Yeah, I, 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 I heard I heard I heard his version of that story too, which is interesting because the footage is out there. His version of the story is not what the footage says okay so okay. i'm gonna just i'm gonna just leave it at that maybe i'll send you the link to the footage and you can post okay. it but his version of events and what actually happened and what's on camera is like yeah, it, didn't, it didn't go that way it didn't go that way but right. you know shout out to move man like again he does deserve respect he he is the guy absolutely absolutely, absolutely he's absolutely. the guy that when you see him if you're a fan of battle rap naturally it should be oh shit that's murder move same thing with Loaded Lux. Those are the guys. Same thing with Reed Dollars. Like, those are the guys. Same thing with Cassidy. Like, those are the guys. So, um, but, you're, you know, December 10th, man. Sunday. You're a Battle Rap fan still. Are you concerned uh -huh. with Moose Angles? We know he's good at angles. Are you concerned his angles could hit real strong? Um, No, let's be honest, not really. There's a lot to say to twerk. There's a lot to say to twerk. Let's be honest. Oh, absolutely. So, Here's the, it's it's a, it's about the wording that you use. Am I concerned about it? No, because okay. at the end of the day, Murder Mook is is one of the top three anglers in battle rap history. I so uh, the thing is, it's like I don't know. It may, maybe maybe I'm um being naive here, but it, it's 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 uh what what's uh what's uh what you call them slogan? The, the if all I do is punch, block it. Like you know. <laughs> I know he's going to go up there and, and have a creative way to say Turk be choking in battles or mm -hmm. Turk ran off with a deposit or I don't know. Maybe he's going to take a shot at me and call me corny. That that works in battles. <laughs> um, you know, he, he's, he's going to have a creative way of approaching the same angles we've heard. Mm -hmm. So 
you know, but I, it's not a concern of mine because I, I just feel like like I know it's going to happen. So it's I'm almost like expecting it and, and I'm excited. I'm excited to hear it. Like Snake Eyes, I, I knew Snake Eyes was going to say something about me um, when he battled Twerk. He, I mean, he said it at the face off. Well, it wasn't really a face off, but when him and Tone Bro was a champion and I pulled up, he said, I talk too much. He going to shoot my head off. I said, well, damn. So I'm like, all right, he going to say something about me or something yeah. about Rita. He had the best Rita bar in battle rap that I've heard so far, if I'm being honest. Mm. Um, but it's like I knew it was coming. So it was like, oh, that, that was fire. But it didn't affect nothing. And yeah. the other thing is, you know, it, it's it's tough. When, when you go up there and you rap about twerk choking in battles, I mean, yeah, it's going to be fire. But if that shit ain't happening in like two years, it don't hit the same. It really don't. Well, did you hear what he told Jay Black? He tried to say that twerk. He tried to. He tried to yeah. Say, <laughs> this, this is the thing that fucked me up, bro. The shit was live streamed. He said he twerk. He choked versus Tay Rock. Uh, shout out to the app. Shout out to the app because the app. I be reading the comment. I'm a comment person. Okay. I was reading the comments, bro. Even niggas on the app was like, "No, nah, twerk didn't choke yet. No, nah, no, nah, Mook. We fuck with you. I still got Mook, but no, nah, twerk didn't choke versus Rock. Like what?" That was uh, that was yeah, but you know, shout out to Mook again. You know, maybe his, his recollection of the facts is a little different, and Mook does have inside sources on different things. So maybe somebody told him something, and he was going by what he was told as opposed to what he actually saw. I don't know if Mook watches events live. You know what I mean? Yeah, as busy yeah. as he is, I don't. I don't know that he does that. So, so let me ask you: You had Twerk losing to, to Surf and Rock? Uh, no. I had I had Turk losing to, to Surf, um, and shout out to the Wave, free the Wave, man. Mm -hmm. I, I be writing to him all the time, and mm -hmm. like every fifth or sixth time I write him, I remind him that I'm still mad that nigga said uh, something Picasso. I paint pictures with this AR twerk. I'm still mad that nigga said that. <laughs> God damn, that was fire. Bro, I, I text twerk random surf bars like I do. Yeah. Like I like trolling people. Um, no, surf surf was up there styling on twerk. Um, it just is what it is. Um, but rock, no, I, I got twerk in the rock battle. I got twerk uh, first yeah, and yeah. third. Mm, okay. Yep. I feel yeah, like yeah. the first round, in my opinion, the battle comes down to the first round. It does. Twerk I got agree. the third clear as day. Yes, does, I feel yes, like rock got the second clear mm -hmm. as day. Rock's second yeah, yeah. was twenty yeah. minutes long. That's the one where you hear me in the audio saying, wrap your heart out. Like, Rock was up there wilding. But I'm a fan of Rock. So it, it, uh, it comes down to the first round. And for me, I felt like Twerk landed more of the big bombs in the first round. But I'm not mad that somebody got Rock, you know, first and second. Um, mm -hmm. Neither one of them got 30. It's a classic battle. Shout out to URL dropping it on YouTube. You know, um, mm -hmm. it hit millions of views. A win over Mook does what for Twerk? It solidifies the 2023. Um, traditionally, twerk and these big battles. I don't know why the culture doesn't love Hollow or respect Hollow as much as they should. In my opinion, that was the one. But traditionally, twerk has gotten these god level MCs and shit to bed. Let's be honest. Gichi awesome. Gotti, that was set up. Awesome. Gichi right. Gotti battle was set up to be the face of URL. Mm -hmm. He shit the bed. Now we all know what happened, the whole Norbs thing and all that, but yeah. that's not an excuse. You're a professional. Mm -hmm. Um, then you had uh the surf battle. Um, what else? Just you know, awesome. different things. The the, the hundred thousand no, but the arts battle, I think they both was up there going crazy. That was John in London. Yeah. Uh yeah. the awesome. hundred thousand dollar tournament, you mm -hmm. know, you shit the bed on that. Like he's had these mega these career or legacy defining moments. Imagine that, bro. The first hundred thousand dollar tournament. We all remember Geechee and Rum up there splitting that hundred thousand, and then Drake dropping fifty on top. Like, if Twerk would have been there, that's a moment in history that will never be repeated. There's never going to be a first hundred and fifty thousand dollar Ultimate Madness tournament winner. Twerk could have been that. So it's like he's had this habit of shitting the bed, and um. Uh, I think this this murder mook battle, uh, you know, he goes up there and does what what I believe he can do. It it just puts it's it's the the culmination of realizing potential, and then also showing the fans though that we're not done, because he could have said no to the battle. He he just be hollow. He could have said like, look, I'm gonna chill the rest of the year. I got the shoddy battle. We were working on the jazz battle behind the scenes. So it's like, no, nah, we just gonna chill. 
He could have did that. Um, but you know, it did. So that, that's what that that's what it means in my opinion. It just it solidifies things like bro, like he finally taking this shit back serious and he can show up for for the fans right. in these mega matches. So can I ask you a question? The NXT battle, right? He switched up his mm-hmm. style in that battle, right? Yes, he did. How yeah. did you feel about that? I was nervous. I liked it. I thought it was dope. I was nervous the crowd was going to be receptive. Sometimes you you can you can paint yourself into a corner of what the expectation is. Um, I had Mook beating Geechee, right? But I don't think Geechee got bodied like people say. I think I that agree. first round, that first round was spooky. <laughs> but after that, I just had Mook winning. It's just like Geechee and Tay Rock. Dude, that first round, round oh, Lord, bro, it was spooky, but I had Rock winning round two and three. Round well, three, yeah. Um, yeah. K-Shine, I, I K-Shine. Think, K-Shine, 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 exactly. K-Shine. Right, like, first round, and then after bro, that, so, round spooky, round. yeah. yeah. Um, I think that first round, but I think Ge- Mook won. Let me be clear, so don't nobody be like, oh, well, where's it? Geechee beat? No, I think Mook won, but it wasn't as one-sided as people make it out to be. Um, And, and, and like, I don't know, man. Like, I, I just when 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 he decided to switch the the flow up, I'm like, I like it, but I don't know if they're gonna be here for. It. Like, I don't know if they're gonna be receptive. And the boo RL is a real thing. I'm like, bro, if they boo you and say you lost the next, because me and next are cool. I'm like, this nigga gonna be on my phone every day, <laughs> and I'm not here for it. Um, I like it, Anwar, but I like the I like the other twerk. Yeah, I mean, again, I like what he's done with it. He sprinkled it in in a couple battles. He still won the battle. Don't get it fucked up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He sprinkled it in because he did it with coffee, too. He sprinkled it in just a little bit in other battles. Um, But this Murder Mook battle, I I don't think you can. I don't know. know. Sunday will be here before you know it. Is he flattered that a lot of people try to take his style? Is he flattered by that? Um, I don't know. I that I never asked him that, so I don't know. I, I don't feel confident answering that for on his behalf. Um, how do you feel that as a manager? How do you feel? I mean, I, I can I can I can quote his his uh, opening <laughs> line. Uh, uh, what did he say? A lot of niggas do my style because they style iffy. <laughs> like it just is what it is. Like you know, um, it's 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 a testament to his level of influence. But you know, everybody has influence. You know what I'm saying? So. Anybody that, that started battle rapping now, even the guys that don't sound like anybody else, shout out to the top six. But Klutz, when I first heard about Klutz in the Crucible, it was, oh. yo, I'm not saying he's Lux, but his style reminds you of Lux. So Flair Soul, I'm not saying he's Rum Nitty, but he punches like Rum Nitty. Like, so, you know, it just it just is what it is. I am glad that everybody, I guess he did too, but everybody stopped doing the coat hangers and, and the upside down guy. I'm glad that everybody stopped doing that, but uh, you know, it just is what it is. He's 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 a dominating force, and let's be honest, there's only certain amount of mega superstars in battle rap, right? There's a lot of great rappers, minuscule, a minuscule, <laughs> right? Exactly. There's for every for every Sue Surf, Easy to Block, Captain Murder Mook, for every one of them, there's a hundred or five hundred great rappers. That will make a good living doing this, but they're not going to get to that level. And it's nothing wrong with that. Um, but I think, you know, when you see that, when you see somebody like Twerk and they reach that level with this style, well, I, everybody wants to get to that level. So, hey, fuck it. Let me take this this blueprint and see if it works. Um, so, I mean, it, I, I can't speak for him as far as the flattering, but I think it's dope. It just is well, what it is. Are you, are, you, are you a believer that he took his... Some of his style is from Press Mafia. Um, you, no, I, I don't. I, I don't believe that. I don't know. I guess. I guess it's because of like the pitch that they use. Mm-hmm. But it's the same thing when people say, "Uh, uh, what's the name?" Took his style. Murder took twerk style. I don't think he took twerk style. I think he just has a similar style. Um. I, I don't know. I, I I don't subscribe to that. I know Shy, I I know Shy, I know Shy I hate it when I say this. I thought Shy sounded like Twerk a little bit at one time. A little bit. At one particular time. I mean, 
Shout out to Kayshawn and everything he got going on. Absolutely. Yeah, shout out to Shine. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Sean and everything he got going on. Um, hey, I don't have nothing to say about that. Okay, I'm gonna do that. All right, all right. Is that is that is that torque shot subject something that um I just I just don't I just don't have anything to say about it. Um you know, again, it, it just yeah, that, that situation between them and and I don't have nothing to say about it. shout out to Sean though, no, everything he got shout going Sean, on. I love Sean, shot, love Sean, love Sean, man. Work it easy. Is that something that um 2024 that we could I mean, it's possible if, if that's something that, that the people still want to see. I was never against sure, it. Shout sure. out to her. What do you mean if the people want to see that? All right. So let, let, let well, me let me say no to that. And well, who's gonna say no to twerking easy? I mean, I don't know. It's just this is the way I see it, right? This is the way I see it. All right, let me ask you who's the A side in that battle? If the battle gets booked, let's say. So Twerk got Mook uh, Sunday, and then Easy has John John, another certified legend, the following week. Let's say they both go up there and get super crazy, all right? Let's say they both go crazy. Who's the A-side? That battle goes down, let's just say, summer of 2024. Who's Easy. the A-side? Easy. Easy's the A-side. Okay. Um, I would disagree. <laughs> I would disagree. <laughs> talk to me, I would. Because I, I, I feel like this. I feel like, you know, um, there's just not enough work there to demand to be the A-side. And unless he acquiesced to being the B-side, I just don't see it happening. I don't. I, I think, you know, shout out to Remy and, and Chrome 23. Um, If Remy called, and especially, you know, knowing that going over there, Turk would have to be the B-side, the number that I'm going to tell her, she's probably just going to hang up on me. I'm just being honest. It just it just is what it is. Um, You know, I don't know enough about easy situation and where it is currently with url so i'll just say i don't believe that that is an option right right, right jay black right. said we we they, we they talked about this on champion they was like what about trenches shout out to the trenches i don't believe trenches has the budget for that card um so after that it's like well where does it happen shout out to rbe i guess maybe but does that battle even make sense there i feel like it would have to happen on either chrome or url okay. and I just I, the business side of it, you know. Shout out to Easy and everything he got going on, but I don't, I just don't see it. And they've battled already. Yes, on Twerk, Garden, in my yes. opinion, at Twerk, you know, he wasn't, 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 Blindside me at the trenches event, you know, being funny. Shout out to Easy though. I mean, I know he was he was yeah. being facetious, but you know, they knowledge says something like, you know, can can we see that battle possibly? And then Easy was like, Yeah, is he allowed to? And it's like, well, first of all, Twerk. So let me say this here. I've said this everywhere. Twerk is yes, not sir. under any exclusivity contracts. Twerk can battle anywhere he damn well chooses. The thing is, there is a relationship with URL. And shout out to everybody else and what they have going on, but we're not gonna burn a relationship for for one opportunity. I'm not doing that. Um, so you know, we would have to work something out. As long as we can work something out, I'm not saying no, but at that point, now you got all these variables. So where is it gonna happen? Who's gonna pay for it? And if I gotta be the B side, then understand that <laughs> shout out to the wire transfer. Um and, and you know, even the even the, the footage. You know, even the footage, what what would happen with the footage? Just like there's a lot of variables. So if the fans want to see it and they put enough pressure, I'm open. Uh, easy knows because I've said it to him. URL knows because I've said it to them. Um, you know, if if the opportunity presents itself, I'm here for it. But I would just have to know that the fans actually want it because the headache that's going to be involved in the business. You don't know the pulse of the people, sir. And you do know the pulse of the people. Right now, bro, after the Geechee battle, the way the fans flipped on Easy, in my opinion, was was interesting. So I don't know. I think it's gonna depend on how this John John battle goes. I got Easy two one by the way. Me too. Me too. Um, um, but I think it's gonna depend on how that battle goes. Um, and I think it's also gonna depend on how Twerk does right. with Mook. If either one of them go up there and get smoked, either one of them, Twerk or Easy, then what? Then you announce twerking easy for next year, and it's like, yeah, 
Is know, it so though? Is it though? I don't know. I don't know the way the culture is right now. I, I, I think. Listen, usually you're right. I'll give you this. Certain battles, if two guys lose, we don't. Oh, y'all both lose. We try to see that right now. I mm. think the exception to the rule is easy and twerk though. And I think the coach will be like, okay. All right, John, you lost the you, you John be easy, won't be twerk. We still want to see those two class though. I would. Let me well, speak myself. I would. So yeah, me, listen. Let me I would myself. too. I I would love the opportunity. Shout out to Easy again. We, we've had a lot of like you know back and forth arguments mm-hmm. about him and twerk, and right. um, you know, I I would love to prove him wrong. I would love to to show him like, listen, bro, that shit different. Like, you stood in front of it at Gates of the Garden, and he was up there half assing. Like, bro. It's 1,500 people out there, and people actually know who you are this time, and, and they think you got a chance. That shit would get spooky for Easy. Shout out oh, to him. Oh, oh, let me stay right there. Stay right there real quick. Easy's beating a lot of stiff competition, though. A lot. Has he not? Yes, he has. That's why he's A-side, I would think, no? Calico, Rex, Verb, Danny Myers, T-Top, all, right. all those names. Okay. So 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 now yeah. let, let's let's – Let's ask some questions here. Yes, sir. Let's, I just want to ask some questions. <laughs> Good, sir. Talk to you. Um, the calico battle. Would you would you feel confident stamping that that's a – we got to talk about clear wins, one where you can't debate it. I don't think the calico battle is, is, a, is a clear win. I have easy winning, but I'm here for a debate if somebody got Cal. Let me pick Same you thing with Danny Myers. Let me pick it back on the calico battle. You might feel me on this. I got easy 2-1. And he, hey, I know he gets mad when I say this. Oh, well, he'll be all right. The best round of that battle to me was Calico's first round. Agreed. I, I had easy winning the battle on Anwar, but the best battle, uh, the best one of that battle, battle was Cal's first round in my opinion. Oh, Cal was up there getting great. Listen, I'm not mad. I had easy winning too. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's like I don't feel confident arguing it. Right, right. Because Cal right. was up there. Personally, I had K Shine winning against Easy. I told him that okay. he's well, I can't say to this day. Uh, we don't talk like we used to, but we we were still going back and forth about that, like even behind us. Like that's just how I felt. The Danny Myers battle, I felt like you know it's closer than people that's made it out to be. That's a close battle. That exactly. Close battle. So after that, it's like you know I, I think I think he whooped on Verb. Shout out to Verb. Yes, Him yes. and Chess is a battle. Nobody cares who won because it's that. Right. That is right, the right, last right. Stone Cold Classic battle we've had recently. Yes. Um. He was up there whooping all good. Shout out to Goods. 30, 30 big T. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but let's be honest. At that point of the battle and where it was, yeah, I don't yeah, think anybody right, gave right, Big right, T a right, shot. Right, 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 um, right. Hey, so listen, I, I I'm not here to downplay what he's done, but it's like, you know, it, it just you're winning these battles. Um, but I don't think it's it's enough to be the A side. But again, I'm not even saying that that. I wouldn't agree to be the B side. It's just you're gonna pay me to not like be the A side. Like you're gonna pay me more money now. Like, all right, cool. Cause now I gotta do it at Chrome. So, you know, what was this number? Now it's that number. And it just is what it is. And I'm okay with Remy saying, no, I'm good on that. I'm okay with that. Shout out to Easy. He got plenty of battles still out there. So uh, he you know does, he does, but let's be honest. And my twerk Charlie Clips to twerk it easy. I'm taking twerk it easy. I want rum nitty and easy to happen, but I'm still taking twerk it easy or rum nitty and easy. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm not saying that he has a bigger battle. Maybe him and Rock. Maybe him I and Surf when Surf twer- come home. Uh, rock, rock easy. I do want to see Rock easy. I, 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 yeah, me I, too. I do want to see Rock easy. Me too. I do want to me see too. That, you know, factual. Me too. I do want to see me too. that. Me too. I would like to see how each of them approach that battle. So, yes. I mean, he's still got options. So, you know, I look at it this way. They already battled. Mm-hmm. We up. If Twerk hanging up today, Easy has to say, I lost to that motherfucker right there. Like, it just is what it is. Uh, it is what it is. Like, so, couple, couple you know. A couple more questions here real quick. Twerk, should Twerk be in champion of the year discussion every year at top three or win that shit? Should he not go I believe so. Talent I believe he should. Yeah, absolutely. I believe so. Off of pure, off of raw talent, absolutely. But if you're not working at that talent, what's the phrase? Um, hard work beats talent when talent don't work hard. Mm-hmm. He wasn't working hard. I feel like this year he's in that conversation. I feel like you know it's him, Big K, uh, Geechee. Um, you know, like Chef that. Trez. That's my top three right now. Yeah, mm-hmm. Chef Treads. 
Shevchenko is outside the top three right now yeah, for me sorry, personally. Sorry, yeah, sorry, yeah. Sorry. But right now for me, that that's that's where it is. Right. right. Um, and and you know, I, at this weekend, there's a lot riding on this weekend, in my opinion. You know, um, so we'll see. But I do believe off of sheer talent, yeah, he should be in the conversation every year. He should be top five or better every year off of just talent alone. But you know, this is the first year where I feel like. He's given 100% all year. Absolutely, absolutely, and if he's, if he's in the top three, he he doesn't really care about winning champion of the year. I've said it personally. I do. I'm not on the panel this year. Told Jay Black that at the beginning of the year. Um, so I won't have nothing to do with it. I'm going to be watching at home. Um, I don't even think I'm going to go when they film. Like, I'm going to okay. watch at home like everybody else. Because um, I believe this year he's got a legitimate chance. And next year, I believe he will have a legitimate chance. And the year after that, and the year after, as long as he continues on this path. All right. My brother, man, it's, it's a lit weekend this weekend. <laughs> it's going to be a crazy yes, weekend. Yo, wait a minute. Are, are you giving up some of your 80 degrees and popping out? It's three events, man. Chrome, <laughs> Camp, <for> Christmas, <laughs> Queen of the Ring. They're bringing the ring back. <laughs> I'll probably next year, next year, next year. Top of the year, I'm coming out. Uh, I'm coming out. Top of the year, though. Uh, I'm going right. okay. to the top of the year, though. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. Are you gonna go to any other events, or are you just going to URL only? Are you going to? Um, I might. I might pop out at Queen of the Ring. Um, there's a lot going on. Um, you know, leading up to the battle, especially a battle of this magnitude. Um, so you know, just some last minute things as far as you know the venue and stuff like that. I want to talk with URL about um Mook and his team. You know, obviously, just so that everybody's on one accord on, on the same things. Um. So, it, time permitting, I'm assuming they're going to do the face-offs early in the day. Um, so, time permitting, yeah, I plan to pop out the Queen of the Ring. Shout out to them. Um, I'm, I'm not going to get to New York. I got to work uh, on Friday. So, I'm not going to get to New York in time to go to uh, cancel Christmas, oh. but I got my pay-per-view. Um, you know, I'll probably do a giveaway for a pay-per-view. Shit, I probably need to do it tomorrow. I just thought about that. The shit is Friday. So, I'll mm. probably do a, a Twitter giveaway for a pay-per-view for a cancel Christmas. Um, or unless somebody wants, if they're in New York and want a ticket, I might, you know, try to buy a ticket for them in advance. Um, same thing for Queen of the Ring, but I still support the culture. I just, as far as getting to every event and, and making it a priority, I just, I don't anymore. I just, I just ain't feeling it. So, you know, if Twerk ain't on the card, Twerk on the card, I'm gonna be there. You know, I ain't nothing to worry about. If Twerk uh, not on the card, it gotta be some shit. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. It gotta be some shit. All right. My brother, I appreciate you, man. Listen, I appreciate you too, Three Man. I know the people that, you know, I'm not the one they want to see, um, but Twerk not doing interviews. So yeah, good, if they good, got good. questions, they can hit me up. They can at mm -hmm. me or ask me. Um, mm -hmm. But that's that, man. I appreciate you, Three, though. I appreciate you. I appreciate everything you do for the culture. Love Continue you. giving us dope content that's about I battle right now. All right. For sure. Peace and love, my guy. For sure. Hey. I'm going to be tuned in Sunday night, though, just FYI. You going live or you going to record and upload? And I need to know how fast. Absolutely. Like, how much you, you going live, right? Right after, yes, it's going to yes, be right yes. up. Yes, That's yes, what I'm yes, talking man. about. I'll be tuned in, man. Uh, okay. if, you, if you're watching this, you're already here, but make sure y'all subscribe to PSA, man. Like, Three Letter Man is definitely you, putting on for the culture, man. Appreciate you. Appreciate you, Three. All right, for sure. Man.